Welcome to section 52 of bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Ehrlichia and Anaplasma, which you can see right here. This scene will take place inside of a hotel room of a family who's on vacation. Right now, we can see an alarm clock on the nightstand, and if you look closely, it says 302. It's actually 302 in the morning, so you could say it's pretty early. Anyway, early sounds like Ehrlichia. So the alarm clock should help you remember that this part of the image is about Ehrlichia. Next, notice that we've added a redheaded girl that appears to be sick in the other bed. We've shown her in prior images, but recall that she's Anne of Green Gables and is our symbol for anaplasma. So everything around the alarm clock on the nightstand and bed will be about Ehrlichia, while everything on Anne's bed and nightstand will be about anaplasma. Any other information in the room will be about both organisms. Okay, with this in mind, let's continue discussing the image. As you can see, we've added two children to the scene who were playing with some blocks when the mean boy decided to destroy it. Look at that grumpy face. I guess he needs to learn how to play nicely with others. Anyway, the destroyed wall is here to help you remember that Ehrlichia and Anaplasma are unique because they do not have a cell wall. Now we've added a pet hamster to the image. You can see that he's securely locked up in a cage, just like both of these organisms are obligate intracellular organisms, so they remain inside of a host cell. Now we've shown the room number to this hotel, which is 2E. The letter E on the east side of the picture should help you remember that these two bugs are common in the east coast of the United States. Next, notice the guy in the other bed who appears to be flustered with this alarm clock. Looks like it started buzzing, so he reached over to stop it when he accidentally knocked over a container of Tic Tacs. You can also see that Anne has some Tic Tacs on her nightstand. I guess both of them want fresh breath when they're sick. Anyway, as you hopefully know by now, this is our symbol for ticks. So these are here to help you remember that Ehrlichia and Anaplasma are transmitted by the Ixodes deer tick. This is an image of the Ixodes deer tick, and this is a vector for both Ehrlichia and Anaplasma. Also notice that both the guy and Anne look pretty sick. They both are laying in bed and have thermometers in their mouth. This is here to help you remember that Ehrlichia and Anaplasma cause nonspecific flu-like symptoms. As you can see, they're both laying in warm, comfy beds with black blankets. The blankets look very clean and are without blemish. Just like the black horses we showed in our Coxiella video, the clean black blankets are here to help you remember that a rash is uncommon in both Ehrlichia and Anaplasma. All right, up to this point, the two organisms have been very similar, but now we're going to discuss the key differences. Notice that we've added a balloon next to the alarm clock. I guess someone got him a get well balloon in an attempt to comfort him. We use this balloon in our Salmonella typhi image to represent monocytes because the balloon kind of resembles a monocyte. So the balloon is in this image next to the alarm clock, to help you remember that Ehrlichia may be seen in the cytoplasm of monocytes on a peripheral blood smear. This is an image of Ehrlichia, and you can see the organism in the cytoplasm of a monocyte, as indicated by the black arrow. Also notice that Anne has a sandwich in her hand and that there are a bunch of grain crumbs on the bed. Grain sounds like granulocyte. So these grain crumbs are here to help you remember that anaplasma may be seen in the cytoplasm of granulocytes on a peripheral blood smear. This is an image of anaplasma, and you can see the organism in the cytoplasm of a neutrophil, indicated by the black arrow. As a reminder, neutrophils are granulocytes, but so are basophils, mast cells, and eosinophils. So anaplasma may be seen in any of these cell types. Finally, notice that we've added two dirt bikes next to the door. I guess they were planning on using these on their fun vacation, but they may not get a chance to considering how sick they both are. As you should know by now, a dirt bike is our symbol for doxycycline. So we've included these in the image to help you remember that Ehrlichia and Anaplasma can be treated with doxycycline. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 12-year-old boy is brought to the physician 24 hours after developing chills, myalgias, and a subjective fever. He recently returned home from a scouting trip to Connecticut. His temperature is 38.9 degrees Celsius, pulse is 114 per minute, and blood pressure is 112 over 79. A peripheral blood smear is obtained and reveals an organism present within the cytoplasm of granulocytes. The most likely causal organism shares a vector with which of the following? A. Treponema pallidum, B. Coxiella bernetti, C. Leptospira interrogans, or D. Borrelia burgdorferi. Hopefully from the question stem you notice that this boy has nonspecific symptoms including chills, myalgias, and a subjective fever after returning home from a trip to Connecticut. Also, a peripheral blood smear revealed an organism present in the cytoplasm of granulocytes. Collectively, these clues should make you think of anaplasma. Remember, both Ehrlichia and anaplasma present with nonspecific symptoms, an absence of a rash, and usually occur in someone who either lives on the East Coast or has recently traveled there. However, anaplasma 
is associated with granulocytes and ehrlichia is associated with monocytes. So we can be confident that this patient has anaplasmosis. With this in mind, the correct answer is D, Borrelia burgdorferi. This is our image of Borrelia burgdorferi, and recall that the guy eating ticks right here should help you remember that it's transmitted through the Ixodes deer tick. Likewise, the tic tacs next to Anne right here should help you remember that anaplasma is also transmitted through the Ixodes deer tick. Likewise, the grain crumbs right here should help you remember that anaplasma is seen within the cytoplasm of granulocytes. A is incorrect because Trepanema pallidum is a sexually transmitted infection. B is incorrect because this is transmitted through the aerosols of cattle and sheep amniotic fluid. Finally, C is incorrect because Leptospira interrogans is transmitted through water contaminated with animal urine. So again, the correct answer is D, Borrelia burgdorferi. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Ehrlichia and anaplasma.